I feel can like really change your life. And I, because I feel like I immediately connected with you. Like I knew that I wanted like a, you know, more experiences where you and I could connect and I could be mentored by you like on a, on a deeper level. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that I had any sort of fears. I was just like ready to go. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. when's this starting? Like, I want this to be, you know, today. So yeah. as soon as I signed up, I was just like excited more than anything. That would be the emotion I would describe. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I know. I was so happy, like definitely to have you. And I feel like, um, because I didn't know enough about when I, when I, like, I learned so much more about you as you came to the program right. and just moving forward. Obviously, in the, even with Carson, it was like, oh yeah, like she's in a whole world that's like really, really dope. And then figuring out how to like connect those two and making it make sense. Um, Cause everybody's like different. Everybody has unique qualities that they're bringing to this whole situation. And I, I was really, really intrigued with yours and I was like oh yeah she okay something there <laughs> yeah trying, trying like- <laughs> what was uh some of your biggest breakthrough like moments while you were um in the program I feel like I had a lot I think that like everyone's journey is so different and you're probably gonna like laugh when I say this but I feel like you know I'm like on somewhat of like the older side of like at least in that group of people for like that mentorship call. And I feel like a lot of times, I mean, it's just like so hard not to second guess like your journey and like, when is it going to be like, when is it going to click? Like, when is that given opportunity going to like happen for you? Or like, is it going to happen? Like all of those like questions I feel like are constantly floating in your mind when you're in this industry, regardless of how many years you've been in it. Um, But I feel like just like breaking things down to like the very like foundational point of like all the basics of the industry yeah. kind of like a it was nice to like strip away the pressure but then also at the same time I felt like it was a big breakthrough for me like I remember specifically talking to you about like taking class like yes I'm passionate about taking class but you're like you don't need to be in class all the time to be booked and I was like oh okay like I that did not connect for me like I was like mm-hmm. I used to have so much anxiety if like you know, those working choreographers were teaching and I couldn't make it to class. If like, and like the only reason I wasn't making it was because I had like an actual really like major conflict and I would, or I'd be out of town and I'd be like, I can't believe I'm missing that class. And I would have like all of this like anxiety over it. And then now I feel like since like talking to you, like A, even just like about like what's meant for you is meant for you, but also B, like knowing that like class alone is not going to be like the driving factor to you being booked. It like that took so much pressure off of me personally. That was like a personal fight for me yeah. of like, if I'm missing something out, I feel like immediate fear that I'm like not going to be seen for that one opportunity. And I'm going to miss out on something that's, you know, mm-hmm. timing wise was there that I couldn't do. So that was big for me. But I think that also like, I think just like talking to you too, like outside of the program with like our one-on-ones that were like a part of it. And even like working in the rehearsals, I just kind of like, gain more confidence because I really trust you and like sometimes you just need to hear it from somebody that you trust like you can do it <laughs> and so that just like went and still goes like so much farther than like anything or anybody else I've like spoken to because I think that I've seen you like do work that like both like as a dancer and choreographed because I want to be ultimately like a creative director and that's what you're doing now so I think like seeing you fill each of those spots and like knowing that you've been there and then being able to like get into rehearsals with you or, you know, like work with you individually and get your feedback on like what I'm doing specifically, like gives me like actual, like valid responses of like where I need to be shifting my focus versus like me just like running in my mind, like thinking about what I should be doing. Like, it's just exhausting sometimes. So like hearing it from somebody else who is actually like qualified (laughs) is just really refreshing because it can get crazy up in here where you're like just second guessing everything and wondering like, when's it going to happen? Where it's like, you're like, it will happen. And like, you know, you are talented and you, it, you like have all these things. And like, sometimes I just feel like it's so easy to lose that. So hearing that from you was like major for me. And in general, just like the program going back over, like so many of the things I already knew, but then it was like the conversation surrounding it that led to other things. Like it was that it was like the, like, yes, there'd be like the topic of like, you know, live shows or tours or like rehearsals, like what that is involving. But then it's like, the conversations that like blossomed from that, that like went way deeper than like all of that, I feel like is the most valuable part is like the community and the conversation. Yes. Oh my God. That was so eloquently 
expressed and said and like just being able to um verbalize that I think is so huge because you don't really? yeah it's like it's like you can kind of talk about it but then to actually explain it like through that right. process you took me really how you were feeling thinking ex you know experiencing it in real time and then like what that outcome was and what that feeling and how it has brought you you know even further in certain situations I think that that's so so Ooh, that is so profound. <laughs> You're speaking the truth over here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so then I remember like while you was in the program, uh, it was like you you and Carson ended up having to work with Neos, like the mm -hmm. show for, I feel yeah. like it was Loving and Friends. Was it Loving and Friends? My, yes. it was, yeah, Loving and Friends. Okay, so what was that experience like, kind of like jumping into that space? Yeah. Well, it's funny because I feel like we like specifically talked about and like I've felt this in a few other circumstances, but where it's like when these opportunities come, it's like always like in the most chaotic time. So like I was in Baton Rouge working with LSU and Carson wasn't there. And she had called me like when I was like flying back to Atlanta and was like, hey, so Jamaica just called me and she wants us to work with neo for lovers and friends and i'm like what it was like she's like yeah she's like she's like i'm driving into atlanta so i'm gonna come pick you up from the airport tonight and like we're gonna work on it was just miss independent and i was like absolutely i'm like that's like my throwback jam i'm here for it so I was like, <laughs> i'm here for it so like i landed at 10 p.m in atlanta and she picked me up and we drove to my apartment and like we were like in that little gym like choreographing until like 3 a.m and like of course like that was kind of like our first, like, you know, like Carson was like that opportunity through Jamaica, but that was like the first time that he, her and I together were working on something more commercial. So we were just like, you know, second guessing ourselves. It's like, it was, so, it was so stripped down and so simplified, but we were like, for sure, like, this has to be like amazing. We have to do our best and all of this stuff. So we definitely like went there mentally a lot, but I think that like, it was so interesting because, you know, it's like exactly what you said. It's like, the chaos will surround those circumstances like you just have to like push aside like I was so tired Carson was like had to drive from Nashville to Atlanta we were like here we go we gotta gotta yeah. make it work and then it was funny because then like the next day we get to get to rehearsal and like you know there's like so much like room for like there's not like not everything is like giving to you like in like a itinerary document like what's going on like we're just like guessing half the time so we're like in rehearsal we're getting through, we're like teaching the number, but like, I think that when we were there, two of the dancers weren't there. So there's, there was four dancers. And so two weren't there. So like, I had to like go back and forth between like helping like Car Carson, like teach the choreography. So then also like being a dancer so we could like stage it and like at least start to get like everyone comfortable with that aspect. So like bouncing back and forth and that, I feel like going like back to the program, there was like so many things we just talked about from like just a what to expect side of like rehearsals and live shows that it just made me feel like not an ounce of like stress when we were like actually there at rehearsal because I was like okay like there's nothing that can throw me off in this moment like we're you know like we're prepared we know our choreography like we're doing everything we can but a lot of what I learned at the program is like what prepared me for that so that was huge but I mean once we got there it was like kind of just like everyone's you know doing their best like get the choreography out and then next thing you know it's just like so like fluid in the industry like then like Jamaica comes at the end and is like okay well we're gonna add another song for you guys to do so then we're like okay sure and then we like run to go get studio space and add the other song and like then the next day like he came into rehearsal and meanwhile I had rehearsal with you for the Omaretto thing that we were doing in Atlanta and so I was like bouncing back and forth again it was like everything was happening at once but it was major I mean I think that like it was one of those moments for me, like when I was sitting in the room, like I was just like consistently thanking God. Cause I was like, you like, just think about these moments happening. And I'm like, when it, when it actually happens and you're there, like, it was just so cool. And just, he's so great to work with. Like he's very like down to earth and like very funny. And the dancers were an incredible cast. So like, I mean, made our job really easy. And so, I mean, it was like a dream come true. And me and Carson had so much fun. Like we were definitely stressed out at first, of course, but like ultimately had so much fun. And then now it's crazy because that started off as Lovers and Friends and now they've gone on a tour yeah. around the world with our choreography. Choreography. 
that's so cool like that's so dope yeah I would have never thought so I'm like it's just crazy how like things happen but I think that too it's like it's so interesting how like you know everyone's like relationships connect and like that's how that happened it's like wasn't through an audition or a submission like it was strictly right. through like Carson had a relationship with Jamaica Carson needed me it all happened so we were like there and it just like it felt just like so seamless mm -hmm, and so fun. Mm -hmm. it really was so fun mm -hmm. yeah and see how like so many things like yeah I, it wasn't about the class <laughs> right it was not I about yeah right. that's it, that is so dope and then I mean that's just like a that's a forever connection that's that's always going to be there with Neil with the dancers with Jamaica it's like okay yeah hey we're back you guys here's another number right <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. It was so fun. Yeah, that's so dope. What um what was like a biggest one of your biggest lessons while in the program? I feel like it's kind of like what we just talked about. Like the the biggest thing for me was just like knowing that I think that I've had this concept in my head even when I was living in LA. Like this idea of like how it should be, of like how me getting a gig or a job should be and like it's going to be like at uh, you know, like an agency audition, a typecast audition where it's like, I am like fitting and checking all these boxes and it's like for an artist and it's going to look like, look like this. And like, you have all these, like, cause you hear these, all these, all these success stories and like that, that happens for some people. But I think that it's like knowing that like, that is like one of like a million ways to get a job. Mm -hmm. So I always had in my mind that like construct. And so like, I feel like this program like really broke that down. And I knew once we were going through like, not only like the actual program, but like those conversations having outside of the program that like, hey, I was capable of like having those jobs from like a confidence standpoint, but then also knowing that like, it is also in my hands, like to put myself in the right positions to like get those jobs. And I, I have connections. Like I have people that I know in the industry and like, I have, you know, like my best friend, like Carson, like we work together all the time. And like, we've been working in one industry that's now like transitioning over to this other industry. And it's like, it's just like trusting your path. It's yeah. like, honestly, the biggest thing, because I always kind of like, I came as like from like a dance team world kind of thing, but I almost like, I kind of like scoffed at it. Like when I got to like more industry things, I didn't want to be like associated with that. And now it's like, that's the exact thing that's kind of like led us to the opportunities that we have, like our dance team work, which is like so funny. Cause I was like, I would have never guessed that in a million <laughs> years. So I think it's just like, it's that it's like trusting that like your skill set is like unique to you and like your relationships are unique to you and like how it'll unfold and like even you and I spoke about this like it's still like some things have happened for me but not everything like I still haven't had a lot of opportunities but like I know like when they do come it'll be like very natural and not forced yeah. and I feel like yeah. in the past I've felt like I've had to force myself in positions for something that really never ever felt right for me mm. and now I'm like okay like I'm trusting that like whatever's meant for me will like come together that doesn't mean I'm not working hard but it's like what's meant for me will find me and like once we get there it'll make sense it won't feel forced yeah you know? yeah that's a that's a major um breakthrough uh just understanding yeah the, the what's meant for me is meant for me but then also just like your time and your path and not overthinking the whole scenario or thinking it's supposed right. to be a certain way based on what everybody has said in the past and like oh well they they did it like this so this is how it has to be and it's like yeah nah it ain't like that no more <laughs> right. when I think it's so crazy too because it's like I mean everything changes so fast yeah. like from the time that I was in LA where the, I had like the option to do a million auditions a week to now like it's just like that's not how it works anymore like it's just it's so different like things evolve so quickly that like you kind of have to just like be like fluid to a certain standpoint where it's like you understand that like what you can control is what you can control but like ultimately like the industry is constantly shifting and now so many things are different from even like two three years ago so yeah. not relying on like one pathway I yeah. feel like it's been huge so I'm you, still working on it <laughs> so you got a little thing over in the TikTok land though so let's <laughs> you casually yeah. I remember one day he's like yeah like you know I had a video <laughs> a video that did like I don't know just like two million like a million or something crazy and I was like wait wait what right I don't even know I mean it's so weird so like <laughs> that was with me and Carson with LSU's dancing last year when they danced to like a boy and we had like zero zero intention of anything like becoming like a TikTok trend of like yeah. 
doing a dance challenge like that was like never even like in the realm of like our plan mm -hmm. and then within like minutes of that team competing that routine we were being tagged on TikTok of like them doing the choreography and I was like what is going on and like it started off with people like just in like the dance team world like high school dancers and things like that and then it like I don't even I still to this day it's just so crazy how it happened like it just exploded and then like overnight I had like 100 followers on TikTok and like overnight it was like 34,000 and I was like what is going on like it was just there was no strategy behind it whatsoever like yeah. I wish I could say that there was but there wasn't and then things just picked up and then like we tried to you know like grab a hold of it as fast as we could and like kept on doing the challenge and kept people to do the challenge and that was like the craziest time of my life because like I would just open my TikTok and it would be like a million notifications and I'm like I don't even know who these people are or I would know it'd be like these celebrities like doing our challenge and I'm like I cannot believe so that kind of like started like a whole other I feel like audience for sure yeah for Carson and I yeah for like boy and then it's kind of continued like since yeah. then we've posted like a bunch of stuff for this year for LSU and like I think people just like find it like super interesting like the behind yeah. the scenes stuff and like yeah. They just have, like latched onto it, and so we're just like, okay, here you yeah. go. No, so, yeah, it's been fun, but it's like it's just that app is so crazy. You just never know what's gonna stick, mm -hmm. and it was so out of our hands. We're like, okay, like they like it, like let's just keep doing it. I guess we'll like keep on the people what they want. It was just so crazy, but that, I'm yeah, not complaining. No. that's so dope. I look, I was like, wait, what, what? And then now, even like me knowing you have met you and like seeing like this year kind of going by and now I see like even being in that world and what what you are able to kind of tap into that a lot of people may not be able to but it's still to me a, a, a method of like entertainment dance choreography right being successful you know professional whatever it's like yeah like that's a whole situation and it's in it's in the social lane because that is part of us now like we there's no escaping social media. You already know how much I was like talking about. It. I was like, oh no, you have to. Post. I know. Like, <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. I, I was on cars and I'm like, Kiki is on me about always posting. I'm like, we are not posting enough. And then like, we always are talking about it. I'm like, no, like we need to post more because I always hear you in my ear. I'm like, we're not posting enough. We're not posting enough. So I know for sure. It's crazy. Yeah, but, yeah. but that's, that shit is so, so dope to me. I think you absolutely can demolish that lane like when I say I'm thinking about like the brands and like the, the Dick Sports and the Reebok and whatever shoes they wear right. whatever clothing bags and all that it's like that's a whole situation that you mm -hmm. absolutely because you and your commercial like you are very commercial you are yeah I see you I see you walking down the street with your with your kicks and doing right. a little one two and hitting it it's like that's such a great um space I think you can really take advantage of with the collegiate aspect of it but then also it crosses over into right this dance space of like whatever but then even from that is how the notoriety and, and the recognition to get with like an artist or a film oh. or a tv show it's like oh my god yeah so that's always my thought process when I when I think about you and just how you kind of like navigating through your path like to me that is heavy for you like it's like it's undeniable I just think once it hits it's a <laughs> oh man I know it's crazy I'm waiting I'm ready I'm like here we go bring it in it's a wrap it's a wrap <laughs> it, really, it really is so interesting though because Carson and I talk about this all the time it's like the skills that you learn as a dance team kid even from like strictly like awareness of like like staging and like formations like it makes you so much more quick like even in like the neo rehearsal like it was just like and it's like funny because it's like I said like sometimes I'm like oh yeah dance team like it's a different category but like in all honesty like that's like what I feel like has set Carson and I apart is like the staging elements and like yeah knowing how to do that. and like now like I feel like like we'll we'll see artists do something and I'm like god if only like they would give us a chance because we know what we could do like yeah from a staging element standpoint yeah. like from visuals it's just because like of what, what we do so I'm yeah. like I think that like it's starting to become clear to me that, like that is that was always a part of the plan and like that was always like the first step and like when we translate over to yeah the world, it's only gonna make us like stand out more because of that yeah so, but 
yeah it's been crazy absolutely like it's it's a it's in I mean I can go down all day thinking about things <laughs> that I know that y'all can get in I'm like oh my god it's so much it's so much it's so much but yeah, yeah I can't wait because I already know it's coming um okay so then what was what do you think was something that made the process of the program like even like how it was online for you guys like how did it how effective was it for you I mean I feel like it was super effective in that way because I think that like I mean everyone has their own schedules but like I'm just like so busy and so like being able to like plan it out and like know that like I can like you know, we have our Zoom meetings and like knowing that you have the online content to like go at your own pace at a certain rate and then Mm -hmm. have it done by, you know, when we ever had our Zoom meetings, like that was just like very convenient and made it so easy. Like it wasn't overly guided to the point where it was like, you had your own schedule of wanting to like get through the content and then we talked about it. So I feel like that was great. And then obviously like on top of that, I think it was like perfect the like in-person experiences too. It was like, just like, just enough where it didn't feel overwhelming to like schedule those but then also like mm-hmm. the perfect opportunity to apply what we were talking about so mm-hmm. it was I feel like the structure of it was like exactly what everybody needed mm-hmm. so easy to navigate so I think that that was like ideal for sure nice okay yay that's good it's always good to, I just want to know like certain things about the online aspect of it because everybody that I do talk to like you know they are in other states and totally. so, you know, they're always like, well, will it affect me if I'm, you know, I'm like, no, like you can be anywhere you want in the world and actually, and still be able to kind of get the same value of the program as if you were in the same state. So um, right. I mean, what like mental changes have you um, made since finishing and like, how, what are some like the results and how do you see or feel? I mean, I feel like that's like such a bigger question. I feel like it's more so like, through the conversations and like talking to you it's like going back to that same concept of like just trusting that like what is meant for you is meant for you and your preparation like your skill set is unique and like no one else can provide that so like knowing having confidence in that which is like always a work in progress because I have days where I'm like what am I doing like am I ever gonna book the dream job that I want or whatever it may be but I think that there's just like a sense of like since talking to you because of your qualification and because of like your past experience, like I know that it's, you wouldn't sugarcoat anything and you wouldn't be saying things that you didn't mean. So I think that just like having that voice in my head and like the mentor in you that where I can like reach out to you and talk to you and know that I have somebody that's telling me that like it's real and it can actually happen. I think that that shifted my mindset to like a believing it more, even though I have days, but B, I think that the feeling of knowing that like, from an outside perspective that somebody else like saw like my upbringing or like my past experiences and like sees that as like a pathway to success and like understanding that like sometimes you know like you're your own worst enemy and you're like oh well I didn't do this like I I went to college which a lot of dancers haven't done and Mm kind of like things like that where it's like you can start to like stack like the things that are actually for you against you and then it takes somebody else like outside to be like no actually that is for you and like the way that this added up is in your favor I feel like it's like shifting that and just knowing that you know like things will work out for you like if you are continuing to like to do the good work and like trust in yourself and trust in your abilities and have people like you lead you like I think that it's just like trusting the timing of it all and sometimes it's really hard to be patient but like (laughs) I think that that's like been something that I still struggle with 100% but I've been even focusing on more lately like talking to you more recently just remembering that because that's how I felt leaving the program it's like you have to remind yourself mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. it's like touching back on that but that was yeah. definitely I feel like a big shift for me yeah no that's awesome like the, yeah and the check-ins are important just being him have- and that's the great part about um you know having this community and being able to yeah. like check back in and tap back in as, as often as I need to or when I know I'm like hey I'm I'm feeling disconnected for a second or like I need a reassurance, whatever. You already know, like that's over here. Right. So, so, right. so, no, for uh, sure. <laughs> what would you uh, um, advise anybody that is thinking about joining the program or investing into themselves um, when it comes to just this part of the of your journey? I mean, I would, I've done like a few different mentorship situations. I've done like, you know, a lot of different intensives or 
quote unquote mentorships. And I think that there's something you can learn from everybody, but I do think that, you know, a, a in general investing in your training in this way where it's like concentrated is I feel like the best investment you can make. Like, you know, like we even talked about like take a month off of like taking class and like do this. Like, I feel like it would, it's just the, the level of like improvement that you'll see mentally is just like top notch. But in general, I feel like when you're navigating like where I should go or what I should be doing from like a mentorship program standpoint, it's like, that's why I did yours. It's like, I just, I connected with you and I knew that you were a good person. And like, from that point on, like, that's really all I needed to know. Like you have all these credits and you've done all these things, but like bottom line, like you're a good person. And I think that that's really important. Like there's a lot of people out there that I feel like are, you know, wanting to do mentorship programs or wanting to provide some sort of guidance. And that's great, but don't always have the best of intentions, not, not wanting to continue the relationship and not wanting to see right. it through. Right. And it's so different for you. Like, I think that like, you've always like from the beginning, like shown like that you are like an honest person that like wants the best for everybody and wants to help out in any way. So I think that that is super rare. So if there are anybody like questioning if they should do it. I'm like, do it 100% because you'll definitely like, you'll know what I'm talking about immediately when you start. It's just, it's like a shift internally, but also like having, having you as a resource is like the best resource you could ask for in the industry. I feel Aw, thanks, Sammy. Of course. <laughs> so I sweet. You. Thank you. I appreciate that. I um, you know, I definitely um, you know, take that to heart, everything as far as just being able to be that one, a resource, but also just being honest and transparent and just yeah. Yeah, at the end, at the core of it, like I do I want everybody to win and do well, mm-hmm. you know, just having that positive impact. Cause you know what I'm saying, it's hard. It ain't it ain't. It ain't, everybody right. ain't positive, so. <laughs> and that's, what, that's what this industry needs is like somebody who's like willing to like break things down, but then also like tell you like everyone can be successful in their lane. Like there's not like, you know, of course there's like in one certain role, like a shortage of opportunities, but like everybody's timing is different. Like everybody can make it happen. So I feel like it's like hearing that from you, it actually means something versus like telling yourself that and be like, yeah, it's going to happen, but like really not knowing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's good. Yay. So what are you most like excited about in the future or ne- going into this next chapter? Because this is what, February? So mm-hmm. like we're about to even go like into another year, even for me starting the program. Like what are you most excited about um, in the future? Well, I mean, I feel like, I mean, personally, I'm, it's like, you know, I feel like I'm growing every single day and like becoming more confident in my abilities and like, mm-hmm just knowing like that there is a plan in place, even if I can't see it, like I know that it's there. So um, I think it's like continuing to trust that and like trusting your timing and purpose for sure. Um, But like more specifically, I think that I'm excited. Like I know that going into this next year, I'm kind of shaving down a lot of like my traveling and like my um, certain jobs. Like I'm kind of prioritizing just like just the jobs I know like really, really inspire me. Yeah. and it's like a risk because that's like cutting back on money but like also I know that like if I open myself up to like being here more like those mm-hmm. opportunities will come so yeah. I'm like that's it. About it that's it like soon as I'm you like, say awesome. it you already that's what it is you already I think about that all the time I was that was my next question was like I always want to know like what are your not goal I know what your goals are but like you know like what's your ideal situation path whatever whatever no you don't have to explain it now but that's something that I would definitely be thinking about like okay I wonder if if you booked a tour today what are, what are we doing are we going on the tour like because you now you now you're thinking about okay I gotta make myself accessible and available and you do that in your own time you don't have to like you know what I'm saying like oh I gotta stop doing everything so that I can be available it's more of like if you are feeling a shift happening, don't ignore it because oh, it's right. happening for a reason. Or if you're like, yeah, wait, I'm not there yet. Or like, oh, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that is. And it's, and it's going to feel uncomfortable and it's going to be scary as hell. And it's going to be like, oh my God, like, should I not do that job or should I do the job? Or, you know, so that is, um, that's going to be a part, I feel like for you, your growth change and shift going forward. Um, just just from what I can see in this past year, I already see it. It's like, oh, okay, she's about to be shifting in a minute. But when you are ready to shift, just understanding 
is not going to be the comfort of like, right. it's shifted and we're here. It's like, you know, right. No, I know. And that's why I'm like, okay, like I'm excited about it. But I yeah, think too, it's like from just like a realistic standpoint, it's like, I, you know, like you even said it, it's like, I'm just like, I'm always traveling and I'm like, God, I need to be here. Like, I'm just like, I'm ready to be like busy in a different way, but like busy here. Like, yeah. this is where I, like, this is where I move. Like, I want to yeah. be here and like be present and like the opportunities that are here. Cause I know that there's so many and I'm just like, yeah. I'm ready to tap into that. And I feel like almost like in a sense, like, of course, like what you said, like, I feel like it's going to be uncomfortable because it's going to be like in a new area that like I'm not used to tapping into, but I also feel like I'll be like grateful for like any opportunities that are more local because it'll give me the opportunity to like make money like here, mm -hmm. which I've kind of like built this like into my head where it's like, you know, to like get a big check, I need to like go get on a plane, teach a master class, do a choreography, X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. and then come home and I'm like drained. So I'm like, I'm just ready for like the opportunity to be where I live. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I know it's gonna be uncomfortable, but I also am like ready to embrace that however it may come. So yeah. Well, you know, one of those big checks is going to be something that you don't have to go for. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm like, let me just stay here for a minute, please. I'm going to tell you exactly who you need to hit up. Uh, let me go. Let me go do some research. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit you on that. I'm going to let you know exactly who is cutting you a check so that you can <laughs> go viral on TikTok with their brain. <laughs> no, literally. Literally. Like, yeah, that, that's definitely... Um, that's definitely doable. I feel like, yeah, a lot of the stuff that you are doing now, you'll still, you'll always be in that space. You'll never not do it. It's just going to be different. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited for you. I think there's so much there that is just untapped. And mm -hmm. you know, when, it, when it does like hit, it's going to like hit big. And then you're, you're going to have to adjust. You're definitely going to have to like, okay, this is what we're doing now. <laughs> Right, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to shift gears a little bit. So okay. you are probably the second person that I've talked to or or um, talked to about this. The only other person that know, obviously my family, but only other person knows is Draco. Okay. Oh <laughs> you just found out a couple of days ago. And the reason why I have to talk to you is because you are my, you know, brand manager and you are going to be with me forever. And it's like <laughs> no, I am. It's a forever thing. <laughs> no, but like I'm going to have to uh acquire your services again because I'm making an announcement and you cannot say anything, even though this is being recorded, this won't be announced for a while. Right. Um, but I have a studio. <laughs> you're lying oh my god kiki i am so excited you're <laughs> lying yeah it's a it's, it's gonna fine. be a full production though it's it's oh, not it's a dance studio no classes so right it's gonna have a rehearsal space it's going to have my goal. My dream and goal will be it's built out. It's going to actually have a white psych, black psych room to do self tape auditions, content creation, you know, the whole idea of just what this program is a space to actually do some of these things. And I'm like, you need to do this. You need to post, you, need right. to content, you, need, you know, in session, you need to whatever. So it'll, it, it'll extend from the program, but obviously outside of that having artist rehearsals having you know you guys being able to have a space that is rentable and then right. being able to do content you know when you whenever you're able to do that because I know sometimes like that's the thing that people like limit themselves and they say oh I can't do it because x y and z and I for me I want to include that in the program it's like oh you it's also legal. have access to get this stuff shot done you know within your program period or enrollment or whatever yeah. and then also outside of that having my own space to have rehearsals I don't have to go rent out anybody else's stuff yeah seriously <laughs> that's amazing oh my god <laughs> that is so exciting yeah so it's going to be Kiki Castings Entertainment Studios with a Z I'm gonna send you um oh the mock I do like a mock like 
it's not even a real logo, but you know, just so you can get an idea. Right. But um, my um, my realtor, she her name is Denise. She does like she does like these videos where she um she does like the reveals or whatever. Like if she has a client that bought a house or whatever. So anyway, she's going to be shooting me on the eleventh in the space and so it'll ideally come out at the end of february like i want to try to have it announced by the anniversary of when i actually started kiki castings like uh -huh. the first group or whatever which was like the 22nd i remember uh -huh. when i started it but for that i want to have like the logo obviously and i'm not like there's no it's literally an empty space so there's nothing built or anything like right. that it's going to take a few months but within those few months, I do want to get the website built so that it yeah, is connected sure. to um, Keycast and Entertainment and then obviously the program. So, but it will be announced by the end of this month. And my goal is to have at least some type of soft opening by the summer, like June, July. Oh my I God. Do. I'm so, so excited for you. That is so awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I, I um, you know, I had a student. I don't know. If, I don't know if you knew that or not, but yeah, you know, I had a yeah, no, I knew. Prior. And so, you know, I've always that's been my dream to have my own space. Like, so that didn't work. It, we had it didn't work out. I, I ended partnership with that. And so now I'm like, I gotta get my own space. I'm just not comfortable to be able to be okay and content with you know, like the things that I know I want to do, I can't do it. I just, I'm like, eh, right. I don't have, you know, they call me, hey, can you work with this? And I'm like, oh my God, I got to go rent out somebody's space. And I just, right. But, no, sure. So I've been turning down people's stuff because I just don't want to do it. I'm like, I'm not inspired to create nothing for this artist because it's just, it's not in me and whatever. So outside of that, I knew that this program was going to be something that would continue to grow and it has grown a lot. And so I also want to grow me. Like I want to be able to do have, okay, well, hey, even if you don't live here, you have somewhere you can come and actually totally. do content. If y'all need to get, if you want to shoot your choreography, you can shoot it in the studio. If you want to yeah. like, you know, you feel like, oh, I don't want to go to class. Okay, cool. You can, you know, you can come in session, whatever. But now yeah. having that as something, as a central location, um, and it's, it's going to be off of um Atlanta Fulton Industrial. So it's a lot of other businesses over there. Mm -hmm. And it's the 3,500 square foot space. Oh, so it's going to be built out like with everything, with the room, with the conference room, you know, like editing room, like all of that. That's like a kitchen, just right. a space that is for creatives. You know, I'm a, I'm a dancer first. So that's like, you know, obviously, but then it, it'll stand, extend out to artists, you know, rehearsals for award show, that's in Atlanta, wow. whatever, tour, yada, yada, yada. So that is so crazy. <laughs> so I you're like the so second excited. person that knows. I feel honored. I feel so honored. <laughs> but that is so exciting. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely help you with that. We'll get you all set up. Yay. So excited. And then um, and then another other logo I want to do is the room. I, I, I started talking about that uh, yesterday. That's just the logo. I just need the room like you know it's so funny people are so onto it I had a a dancer uh, I don't know if you know his name is Xavier he slid he slid in my DMs yesterday and he was like he saw I had posted was talking about the room the room the room so he sends these like um screenshots of the room in the DM and I was like yeah they already they're already tapped in because they know that Whatever, if I'm saying something, I'm like, oh yeah, Sammy it's already got with a logo. So he was sending, I'm like, oh no, I already got somebody doing it. I'm dead. He said like, four like we samples. know we know what you're up to. Yeah, he sent four samples. He's like, I don't know if you're trying to like brand this, but uh he sent four samples of the road. And I was like, that I can't even I couldn't even get to Sammy fast enough to tell. <laughs> People are like, wait, 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 what are you doing? That is so it like it sounded like a brand. What are you doing in the room? Oh yeah, here's some samples. Yeah, I was right. Like, no, wow, that's dope though, because that lets them know like they're seeing, you know, everything yeah. that's happening. And they're like, oh yeah, she probably hasn't thought about the logo yet. Let me send this to her. Yeah, seriously. Um, uh, I'm gonna send you these little those studios one. I don't necessarily love these, but I started playing around. Um, yeah, I mean a concept in general is good to start with. That's so exciting. And then if you have any other ideas, like 
obviously the colors are the same, but maybe we can not do the black and the white or something, or maybe maybe right. let's make this more red or whatever. I mean, what anything you think would be kind of cool to contrast the company yeah. from like the studio? Yeah. But yay, that's it. That's so exciting. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready now. Let's get yeah, it. Yeah, right? I know. I get anxiety thinking about it. I was like, well, technically, I'm not even supposed to be, like, I can't even move in until April 1st. That's why it's, it's literally nothing. Like, they literally have to, like, pull up old tile and shit. So it's nothing, like, right. so I have two months to do prep and, you know, whatever before I can even move in, if I right. want to move in. But then, you know, I, realistically, I know nothing's going to be ready until probably summer, right. so... Hey, I mean, regardless, that's gonna come quick. It's gonna be I fun. know, I know. So yeah, that's what I was like. Let me let Sammy know now. Um, oh yeah, no, I'm glad that you did. Just like <laughs> send me an email with everything that you need, and that way yeah. I can schedule it. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I'll do that. But yay, that's it. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. That's yeah, so that's cool. what I was like. I got it. I wanted to do your one on one, and then I was like, oh no, I have got to talk to her, and then I wanted to film this so that I have it on document. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my God. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for that. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's going to be wild. People are going to like lose their minds. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely going to be a huh? <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I mean, they, I, like I said, I just, I've just been holding on to, I've always known I was going to get another space. I just didn't know how or when or, you know, right. and I was kind of, this wasn't the first space I was, I had been looking and and the, I, the irony that the place that I actually was going to end up getting was so much smaller. And so, you know, it didn't work out something. They was like, oh, you know, we're going to go with a tenant that has been in this building already or been in the in the section already. And so they wanted to expand. And I was like, oh, you know, oh my God. So that was like early, like th damn near summertime. And since then, I, you know, I was like, hey, let me start looking, keep looking. And I would find something and everything was just like horrible. And then I stumbled upon this by accident because the space that I was actually going to look at, I still didn't like. I was like, uh, it just looks like a dance studio. And I just like, it, the ceilings were like, oh, like, oh my God, no. And he was like, oh, well, I do have another space, but you know, it's not, a, it's not available. And it's, you know, it has a high ceilings that you want. And yada, yada. So we went to go look at it. And I was like, it was bigger than I was planning. And I was like, but I can grow in this. And I feel like this is where I, I have to be. And I was like, yeah, God's going to be like too small. Like, what are you doing? What Literally. are you doing? It's like, oh, you thought? You here thought? You, you thought? <laughs> you thought you were supposed to be over here? No. It's right here. That is crazy. Yeah. It was, it was, it was definitely God. And I was like, I'm, I'm just jumping out here. Like, I, I, I feel it. It was definitely time for me to. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like it's like the perfect timing. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Like, opening summer now everybody come on in like yeah yeah no absolutely. summer's gonna be crazy for you and then <laughs> I'm so excited it's gonna be crazy yeah yeah I'm excited so yay that's it that's the to news <laughs> I can't wait thanks Sammy congratulations that's thank big you. that's such a big move thank you thank you thank you yeah of course that's I'm excited. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, just email me and then I think the good news is that I'm, you know, toning down the travel now. So, yeah. you know, just let me know and then I'll get everything scheduled and I'll follow up with you too and let you know like when I can do everything, but it should not be an issue at all. Okay. That works. Cool school. Thank you so much. And that was a great interview. Thank you so much. I loved, I loved hearing you talk about this stuff. So I needed okay. that. I needed to hear that. <laughs> no problem. I'll do yeah. anything. Yes. Okay. Well, you have a great rest of your day. You too, Kiki. Okay. Bye. Bye.